talking about JNF, we think about reservoirs, agriculture, and the research and development. But I think in this case, we can see that the JNF is involved in everything that we're doing in our lives here. The Arava was uh, built or based on uh, big contributions of JNF to establish uh, communities. When you live in a community like ours that is very isolated, uh, what's important is very to, to uh, have a sense of belongingness and a sense of family. And I think the music is uh, one of the best ways in order to unify the community together and to speak in the same language. This is the main uh, auditorium. We have a uh, room for uh, 415 people here. And that's, uh, that gave us the opportunity to bring here uh, uh, the best shows in Israel. This is where we're planning to build the uh, conservatorium, the music center. One uh, part of the project is actually to close the ceiling. So uh, we'll have a patio here to have concerts and exhibitions for a, a community that lives in a, an area with extreme conditions like we do. You need to know how to deal with the weather. And the second thing that we want to do is actually to build an extension of that building that will host the future conservatory, music conservatory. Because at the moment we don't have enough rooms for all the kids to study music and play at the same time. And uh, you know, we need acoustic rooms and a uh, space that is very uh, friendly to musicians and an accessible place that will be uh, available to all residents of the Arava. This is the farest area, or perhaps the most peripheral area in Israel. And uh, it's very important for young couples to come down to know that there's something to do here. I don't know Mickey that long, but uh, when he came down here with his family, I really sensed that he is a family man. And uh, here in the Arava, in a community as small as ours, we really feel like one big family. Uh, and we know each other, so I think for him it was special to see how he and his family has contributed to the life of our family here in the Arava. Once we have the proper facilities or infrastructure, we can do so much more for the different groups. We are uh, blessed with kids that are quite um, talent and they can stay here. They don't need to look for uh, other places. And this way, you give opportunities to the people, young people that want to come back here. They can see their future here. You know, 60 years ago, David Begurin said that the strength of Israel will be tested in the Negev. And here we are in the Negev in Central Arava. And I want to thank Mickey Rosenthal and the Montreal community for helping us develop our lives here. And uh, I, don't, I can't imagine living in the Arava uh, without facilities like that. And because of people like Mickey, um, the Arava is an, excite, an exciting place to live in.